Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Meat and Berries channel. I'm the berries, and this is the meat. Today, we're going to be opening some shards uh, for terrible reasons. Honestly, it's not a great, like, shard event right now. Uh, but two things. First, Coronar, this guy right here, uh, is part of a targeted summons thing uh, for void shards right now. And uh, he pairs with Manea. They're like a legendary duo, and I already have Manea, and I need it. I just need it. So I'm going to open some void shards outside of a 2x event because needs. And then Meat Yard also has needs. Meat Yard needs to finish off one of the champion summoning tournaments. So he's going to open a sacred shard, which is possibly worse, but also more exciting. So I'm going to be sad when I get Gallic. <laughs> oh man so anyway that's where we're at emotionally okay i'm gonna hold the mic while you open your shards oh okay oh okay okay here's the first one Terrible. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even care. I don't care if it's not Coronar. That's literally all I'm here for. This guy looks like Gladiator. He's not any good. We've opened enough of these. Oh, I saw that loading. Well, I already have Harrier. I already have Harrier. You needed him the other day for a, for a different fusion. I did not get him. Um, uh, blues. I have seven shards, right? Yes. You have four more. This guy's ugly. Looks like my dad. Cute or not cute? Not cute. Cute or not cute? Not cute. He's cute, and he's also a good farmer. Yeah, he's one of the uh, one of the best uh, campaign farmers. He can clear twelve three in like six seconds. Oh, well, that's actually okay then. Yeah, he's a pretty good rare. I already have one leveled up to six. You can call him, you can call him Knox for short. Don't say that. Okay, this guy sucks. Just keep going. Okay. Ah. <sighs> She's cute, though. I like the hair buns. I do, but not what we're here for, and probably not good. Okay, one more. Spread misery. That's how I feel. Okay, here we go. Don't look, don't look, don't look. It's not good news. Oh, my God, you know it's not good news. You, you got a veteran. What's, what's good news about this? Name one good thing. You're done. It's over. So, yeah, I guess that's good news. It is over. This was emotionally very difficult. So that was entirely mostly a waste. The dog was probably the only worthwhile thing to come out of there. Literally nothing else. So I am sad. But that's how they get you with these 10X. They, they reel you in with the promise of something cool, but it's not there. It's truly unfortunate. Well, I, that's something, yeah. All right. Well, now it's Meat Yard's turn. Oh, yeah, because it's blue stacks. Maybe just escape. Okay. And now we're into Meat Yard's game. We did this one a little different. Meat Yard, <laughs> potentially even more painful here. It needs to open a sacred, right? How many points do you need? Well, apparently I just need to open seven voids because that's exactly how many. Are you trying? That's who you're trying to get. Okay. Oh, you're okay. So I need 150 points. So 10. 10 blues or. But I'm going to open the blues first. I'm going to open 10 of them one at a time. But didn't you say you weren't doing blues because there's a 2X for blues potentially in the next week? 
but I have to do enough of them so that way it still gets me over there. But if I open blues, I might be able to save my sacred if I get the guy I need. Oh, that's fair. Okay. He's trying to get um, enough points to get to that same champion I just got, Wagon Bane. Yeah. All right. We see the meat yard opening his shards. He's very focused. He has unfortunately gotten a bog walker. Bog champ. Bog champ. Everyone already has this champion. He's very useful on the clan boss in the extreme early game. Obviously not where we're out anymore. I don't know if I was doing the golf voice. It just came penitent. She has a cute side braid, though. Girl, I like your braid. She was the last rare I needed to start on the rosin fusion. Fusion. Oh, I now have the. On the side. I already. Oh, because you already have spiky head. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So you're gonna get a lizard. Yeah, that's worth it right there. Congratulations on your lizard. See that? See that load? That load time. That's a Lego. That's what that means. I actually think it means you just crashed the video game. Congratulations. Uh, no, it was epic. Okay. Look at her boobs. Oh, she's so cute. And her hat and her braids. Sakara. Cool name, too. Is she any good? I don't know. Attacks one enemy. Fills this champion's turn meter by 25% if this is critical. Attack all enemies three times. Each hit has a 40% chance of removing one random buff from the target. Uh, attacks all enemies has a 60% chance of placing a 15% weaken for two turns. And then revive this champion with 75% HP when killed. Only only available when, it, when our buddy's there. Okay, so probably not super great, but okay at fire nine. she is cute though. Faction Wars, it looks like the place that she's the strongest. Sure. What is she? She's a barbarian? Okay. There's a, there's a lot of barbarians, though. And a lot of them are cute. Here we go again. I do not need her. She's garbage anyway. Strider, one of the new ones. One of the new rays. Attack one enemy has a 30% chance of placing a 30% decrease. Attack three times at random. Each critical hit damages the target's turn meter by 10% or decreases. Will also uh, will only decrease the turn meter once per target. And then attacks all enemies uh, with the lowest HP has a 75% chance of placing a 50% heal reduction buff on the enemy with the lowest HP for two turns. If you ascend it, though, it's 100% heal reduction. So, I don't know. She's cute as well. Since she's one of the new ones, could she be potentially used in the fusion for Christmas? Yeah. Since, Any of them could. Yes. Since the big theory right now is that the um, the Christmas fusion isn't going to use the same stuff it used last year, but it's going to use the new champions. Or it could use a little of both. Might, might have given you a boob up. I was going to say leg up, but she's got those titties. Another lizard! It's bog champ, but a different color. Reskin! Um, with the trash champs, I mean, what are you going to do? With the trash champs, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't like his face. He's, uh, this guy's good at Fire Knight because he puts up a shield, a reflective shield. Okay. Budget Fire Knight champion. Excited for you. A dog! It's a different dog, though. Poofy Skirt Girl again! Seriously, though, the side braid is really good. 10 out of 10. Okay. Where are you at? Okay, so, yeah, I need 500 points. So we're going to open the one shard. It's one time. Shard. This is the worst terrible sadness you could possibly do. Cl close your eyes. Cover your eyes. Don't think about it. Don't look at it. Uh, you did. 
Well, it is an epic. No, I already have him. He's one of the 10Xs. He used to be good, and then Frozen Banshee came out. Well. He has a head on his head. Mier does have that one already, so unfortunately, not what you love to see. Well, we both got what we deserved. We were properly punished for opening our shards outside of a good event. No one got anything that they wanted. Honestly, though, I was worried that I was going to get a seer because I already have two. But I didn't get that. I, I got that dog, so that's like the best. I got the dog, and you got the thing for the fusion. So that's the highlights of this shard opening. But we both got Wagon Bane. Woo woo! One step closer to that lizard dog boy. Well, I hope this was a lesson to all of you out there watching about why you should not open your shards outside of an event. But sometimes you have to when, um, when you want to complete an event. But I hope you guys had fun here. If you opened anything during this targeted event and you actually got something good, let us know. Unless you got Coronar, please don't tell me. Don't. I don't need to know. I'm, I've already been hurt enough. Don't hurt her. All right, guys. Bye.